Whaleback Willie, not expecting this, gets blasted backwards and hits their head on the bed. In which case, the lockbox falls on their lap and they look at it dazedly. Admiral Captain Willie, what is in the box? I don't know. I'm quite dazed right now, son. You might have to open it yourself. <laughs> Acknowledge. And so I go over and I attempt to open the box with the... When when all you have is an R2-D2 just, tool, just every problem looks like an R2-D2 hole. <laughs> Unfortunately, the more you examine the box, you see that it doesn't appear to have a single seam on it. It looks to be completely unopenable. I believe this be one of them lament configurations. <laughs> That's from, a good reference. From the Hellraiser franchise. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Are you certain it is not a brick? Bricks often resemble boxes with no openings because they are a similar shape. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to scan. I want to scan the box to see. I was going to say, Pego, if you could roll a perception, I got a three. You got a three. Your your scan doesn't reveal anything on there, on the box at all. It is shiny and black, very glossy almost to the point where you could see your reflection on it. I must report that I cannot rule out that this object is not a brick. Yar, a whale back. Tell me, tell me, are there any, be there any buttons or soft places that you can press on this here box? Uh, I, I do be feeling that there is a, a squishy segment on this side. Squishy. I'm going to I'm going to continue pressing on it and see what happens. <laughs> All right, I'm going to need you to roll on agility. How how fast am I doing this? <laughs> <laughs> no, how nimbly are you doing it? <laughs> okay. Rolling agility. 4. A 4. I'm going to switch All right. Dice. Your, uh... Captain Admiral Willie, I must <laughs> recommend that you do not simply aggressively poke at the squishy <laughs> section. I would recommend using a softer approach with a lighter touch. As... Take your time. As Pego is saying that, a needle ejects from the lockbox and stabs into the thumb that you were pressing rapidly on, piercing Arr! through the thumb... <laughs> Through the nail and merging on the other side of the thumb. Ah, ah, God damn it. Ah, yeah. <laughs> and as if it wasn't even there to begin with, it extracts itself and you can't even see where the needle came from. I guess that wasn't so bad. <laughs> Jesus. I, I, I feel like I, um, because I think healing is part of loving i think it stands to reason that pego would be programmed to like immediately respond to any kind of like injury or distress okay All so right. i'm i'm there in a second and like would i would i be able to perceive pretty quickly like what the problem is uh yeah i mean without even uh, rolling it you can see there is Willie, what is the problem <laughs> about the size of a hypodermic needle has been punched entirely through whaleback willie's thumb I believe I was just tested for diabetes, son. <laughs> <laughs> Admiral Captain Willie, you have been injured. I am programmed with a healing salve. Please place your thumb into the healing hole. And I like right where the kind of like facial features of the robot are, because like there's visual sensors, they're sort of like a, a pretty like mouth looking hole and it just like opens. <laughs> This is how we Please used to do it in the Navy. <laughs> With and, uh, uh, yeah, if he puts his thumb into yeah. my like kind of face area hole, I'm gonna attempt to use my you know like they say like dog spit is healing or whatever. Yeah, like, yeah. It, yeah, you have the equivalent of spit, but it works as a bomb that just uh it it doesn't heal, but it does stop the minor amount of bleeding that is coming from the wound. It's just super glue, basically. <laughs> All right, we'll open up that hole, son. <laughs> Affirmative. That feels good. <laughs> was it good for you as it was for me? 